Hey everyone, in this video, I want to show you how you can change the names of each of every element that you have in your markup through the navigator inside the Elementor edit page. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So first thing that you want to do is navigate to a page that you want to edit. In my case, I have two pages that I'm editing that are open right now. So I'll head up to the first one. And here I have the navigator open right over here on my right. And if you're not familiar with the navigator, you can open it right over here, right in the left bottom hand corner of your screen. Just click the navigator and that will pop up. Now we can see here all the elements that we have here, including the containers, the items inside the container and so forth. Even though we have each and every name of the elements that we have here, for example, loop carousel or container that's fine but what if I have more elements than just these two so naming those elements would be a good practice because when you have a big markup like we would see in a few minutes it can be somewhat confusing so in order to change each and every name of these elements you want to double click it and then you'll see that it is marked and then you'll be able to name it differently for example products carousel container and then you can rename the loop carousel to products carousel so you can just erase the loop and then products carousel and that is even more easier on the eye for you because if we're going to a bigger markup like i have here you can see here that i have a pre-made template by elementor but even though they did a good job on their end where they specified the header plans title and so forth if we will go in each of every containers we can see here we have a container and we have other image icon heading and so forth now what i would recommend you to do is name each of the containers so it'll be easier for you because don't forget that you might see clearly all the elements right now when we are on desktop view the things look a little different when you're trying to make your site responsive and things can stack on top of each other and you'll have to search for each of the every element and naming those containers elements to a name that will be easier for you on the eye it will just make your work a lot faster that's what i wanted to show you in this video and again just to summarize that you just double click on the container or on the element and then you just type whatever name that is easier for you in every language that you choose to and that does it for this video i really hope this video helped you and if it did i'd be really glad to if you leave a thumbs up make sure you subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any video that i post on elementor woocommerce and wordpress and as always i'll be seeing you in the next one